Hey guys, it's Katie with JLT Performance, and today we're gonna install our cold air intake for the 2018 and up Mustang GT. So let's get started. You're gonna start by removing these caps on the engine cover so you can access the nuts underneath. Now remove the engine cover from the vehicle. Now you need to disconnect to this sensor and these three lines from the stock intake tube. Loosen the hose clamp that's connected to the throttle body. Pop out this rivet securing the harness to the airbox. Remove this bolt that's securing the airbox to the vehicle. Now you can remove the intake from the vehicle. If this grommet comes out with the airbox, you'll just remove that and reinstall it in the vehicle. Now you need to decide if you want to keep the sound tube. We recommend that everyone takes it off, um, but if you decide that you want to use it, you're just going to measure about three inches from right here, and then you'll drill a one and a quarter inch hole and install the grommet and the fitting. To remove the sound tube, you're just going to take a flathead screwdriver and kind of work this up. Fully remove this clamp and install the provided clamp and the cap. Remove this shoulder washer and grommet from the stock airbox. Install the provided grommet and shoulder washer into the JLT airbox. Install the silicone tube seal onto the JLT airbox. Install the airbox into the vehicle and then secure it down using the bolt that you removed earlier. Now we need to transfer the mass airflow sensor from the stock airbox to the new JLT tube. Now you're gonna install the mass gasket, pad, and mass airflow sensor into the new intake tube. Now you're gonna install these quick connect fittings into the JLT intake tube, and you're just gonna tighten them down by hand, and then you'll take one full turn with the wrench. Uh, when you install these, you're still gonna see some threads. If you over tighten them, you'll cross thread it. Install both clamps onto the coupler and then install the coupler onto the throttle body. And then tighten down the back hose clamp. Just set the air filter inside the air box. Now you can install the intake tube through the tube seal and onto the air filter. Once you have the tube and the filter fully installed, you can rotate the tube into the coupler on the throttle body. Now you can tighten down the clamp and reconnect all the fittings. Tighten down the hose clamp on the filter. Remove the protective layer from both sides of the clear lid. Install the snap-in lid seal around the clear lid. Now you can install your snap-in lid onto the air box. Reinstall the engine cover and secure it down using the nuts that you removed earlier. Don't forget to reinstall the caps. All right guys, so that's it. It is a super easy install, but if you have any questions, you just wanna know more, you can always check it out on our website or give us a call and I'll see you next time.